If you want to improve faster this season, you need to stop making these crucial mistakes. This season of Fortnite has absolutely changed the way the game is played. And with new things, there will also be a downside to them. And so if you're making these mistakes that we're about to show you, don't worry, I'm telling you right now, because we're gonna tell you what you need to do to fix them. What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy, Bunch of Crunch Army. You already know who it is today, man. We're gonna be showing you the 15 worst mistakes you need to stop making this season. And I'm telling you right now, family, by the end of the video, you're gonna know everything that you need to know to find the perfect tips and tricks to avoid making silly mistakes. And who knows, it can even change your skill to a whole nother level. All right, Bunch of Crunch Army, it's time for the question of the day. today. We want to test your intelligence and ask you this. Like, what is one major mistake that you see beginner players make that you know to avoid? Let us know in the comments down below, and we're definitely going to check it out. All right, so one of the worst mistakes a player can make when starting out is using non-optimal keybinds. So optimal keybinds are the reason why so many pro players have fast mechanics and are able to pull off things that you may have thought were impossible at first. You know, optimal keybinds allows you to press all your keybinds without losing momentum as they give your fingers more time to move and press each keybind. Like if you've noticed that you can't consistently triple edit or overall just build without losing momentum, this is definitely a problem with your keybinds. And so whether you're a beginner or not, you need to switch to optimal keybinds ASAP, guys. So check out our previous optimal keybinds guide to really dominate mechanically. So a huge mistake that players make when they see a llama is shooting it when they are far away. This makes it harder, guys, to get the llama since, you know, it starts moving after getting damaged. And so it'll also put you at a risk of getting shot by players near you. So to avoid losing your llama loot, always box up a llama when you see one. You need to make sure, all right, it doesn't run away and explode, so always box it up and just keep spraying it. This allows you to get the chug cannon and all the other loot that drops when you fully destroy it. And, you know, rather than risk losing it by directly shooting the llama. And real quick, we're excited to announce a brand new Pro Guys free trial subscription. You get a free coaching session when you sign up as well and get access to hundreds of lessons by top pros in every game that you can think of. You don't want to miss this, man. Take advantage of this right now for three days. And if you love Pro Guys, sign up for more. Use the link down below to get started and enjoy your free three days. So the biggest mistake when it comes to fighting is not having steady aim and shaking your crosshair around too much. You know, almost every single beginner has this problem as they think flicking their crosshair around will make it easier for them to readjust their crosshair. This is definitely not the case and you need to make sure that you're tracking your opponent slowly and make sure that your crosshair is placed near their head. No matter what the disadvantages are guys, we recommend lowering your sensitivity and just practicing your crosshair placement by playing a couple aim training maps or simply just playing a game and just going for headshots only. Only. A small mistake almost every player makes is being scared to waste their launch pads. Oh my goodness, this causes them to usually take fights that are unnecessary or even die in the storm after waiting too long. So don't be scared, man, to waste launch pads if you have a lot. Positioning matters more than you think. Always get ahead of zone with a launch pad and disengage in fights that you know will not benefit you. Let me tell you this, man, like if you guys are looking to take your skills to the next level, and I mean like top tier competitor level, like do you want your friends to shiver at the thought of going against you? Come on, be honest. Well, that's all possible at ProGuys.com. So sign up with our 20% discount code RANKUP2021 and receive insane one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is going to make you a Fortnite beast. Visit ProGuys.com to get started today. So a huge mistake players make when they don't have a deep understanding of Fortnite is being scared to take damage from the storm. You know, many players do whatever they can to stay out of the storm in early games, so, you know, such as leaving loot and resources behind or wasting launch pads and leaving their teammates behind. You need to realize that taking 30 to 40 storm damage will do nothing to you as there are, you know, campfires everywhere and you will inevitably find some heals as you're rotating. Pro players literally prefer to stay in the storm as long as they can, as they can just avoid taking fights and also gives them more time the loot and be ready for in-game. So a huge mistake players make in arena and tournaments is forgetting to short pad and always launch pad without scouting out the area in front of them. So when you're in a stack lobby with a lot of players around you, like there's a very high chance that a player is gonna be looking to get a free kill out in the air and just beam you. So even if you don't die out of the air, like you're going to be very vulnerable the second you land. So you need to start short padding. Short padding makes you fly at a lower distance and it keeps you from getting beamed. Simply just use this when you need to really just get way faster by placing a ramp above your launch pad before using it. Something that the average player does when they fully peace control their opponent is edit on them and expose them in a way that the opponent can easily shoot back. 
For example, like if you fully box a person in front of you and you run straight into their face and just go for a risky pump, they can easily counter you since they're gonna be able to shoot you first. Instead, okay, try the right hand peek so your opponents won't be able to hit you back. Just edit your wall and just wait for your opponent to be exposed or just simply move around and just try to confuse your opponent. You know, another mistake that players make when it comes to peace control is knowing how to actually place builds to counter it and not just knowing how to use peace control to your advantage in the best ways. You know, the first major mistake players make is not placing a cone under them when boxing up. This extremely simple tip will save a lot of your fights by simply preventing your opponent from sliding a ramp into your box, which will keep you from protecting yourself if your wall is taken. Next time you box up while fighting a player, always place a cone under you, got it? Cool. On the other hand, like when you're fighting a player and they're boxed up a layer below you, like you need to start off by just taking the floor and cone. The best way of doing this is by placing a wall in front of you, which will fully protect you from being shot by the opponent below you. Something that you should never do when looting off spawn is ignore the vending machines. Vending machines, guys, are the best addition to the game this season for looting as they allow you to just get a blue gun or mini shields the second you land. Using a vending machine the second you see one will save you, like, if your opponent can test you, especially if you know what the vending machine consists of. You can see what's in the vending machine by just looking at its icon. A pump logo means that there are pump shotguns in the vending machine, etc., right? All right, so let's move on to a different type of mistake, something that many comp players make when starting off. You should never look for teammates 30 minutes before the tournament you're looking to place in starts, okay? Like always do your best to put the time into looking for teammates weeks before an important tournament start. As it's definitely gonna give you more time to practice, you're gonna get a good feel for how your teammates play. Almost every player that is new to competitive Fortnite looks for their teammates at the last minute and you know then regrets it right after they start playing. So if you play competitively, guys, remember this tip and try your best to look for teammates on Discord servers like Open Scrims and even the one and only Pro Guys Discord. The most common mistake players make when trying to win their fights is over building. Of course, protecting yourself when fighting and being able to disengage is crucial. But when you cross the line, man, I'm telling you, it's going to affect you negatively. Like, you know, crossing the line when over building means that you focus so much on building that you completely forget to shoot your opponent's back which gives even the worst players a chance to easily kill you. For example, like if someone is right in your face, you should look for ways to defensively fight them instead of just always looking for ways to get hide over your opponents and disengage. All right, so speaking of overbuilding, another mistake people make is being greedy and not using the materials and being overconfident. Like you may have experienced a moment, I know I have, where you died unexpectedly just because you didn't protect yourself when rotating and it's why you need to build as much as you can. For example, like if you're in a car and you're getting shot at, you may get greedy and you just wanna save your materials, I get it. Instead, use whatever you can to just take the least damage as you know, refarming wood is just much easier than having to replenish your shields or having to head back to the lobby, right? So every time you're being shot at, always building every angle you can. And just remember guys, wasting your materials is better than having to queue up into another game. You know, a huge mistake players make when they rotate is not using the cars around them. This messes them up badly, and it's why you need to stop leaving cars behind. I'm telling you, cars will keep you ahead of everybody else. It'll keep you safe from rotating, and it's going to help you loot faster. And who knows, like, you can even drive through a fight and get some free kills while you're at it. So next time, just make sure that you're always looking around for a car to capitalize on. All right, so something that will mess you up a lot when playing Fortnite is by getting tunnel vision on a kill or just simply focusing too much on getting better loot mid-fight. You need to focus on positioning yourself in a way that will keep you safe, especially when you're playing on a team game mode. All right, guys, so the last and worst mistake players make in team game modes is not communicating when making an important play. Like, communication is so key when it comes to winning in duos and trios and even squads, I'm telling you, so never go for any risky plays by yourself. But your friends tell me, really hope you guys enjoyed the video and really learned some new things that will keep you from making horrible mistakes that's gonna cost you your games. If you follow these tips that we've gone over in today's video, I'm telling you right now, you're going to be able to outplay any player you come across and avoid dying in ways that you could have prevented. Let me ask you this, you wanna learn more about how to play your best in the latest season? You can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and more tricks. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. You know, this is your motivation guy, man. I'm the one that believes in 
you. I'm the guy that is rooting for you, encouraging you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. Be encouraged. Don't be depressed. You know, don't be negative. Like, understand, man, life is going to get better. You just have to believe it no matter what's going on around you. Keep your head up. Keep going. Get happy. Be joyful, you know, because life is very precious and you guys are very precious. I'm telling you right now, man, you guys got gold on the inside of you, so keep going. Love you guys. Peace.